Happy new comic book day, everyone. My name is Greg John's the man behind the camera. And as usual, we are in Midtown Comics Times Square to give you a look at new comic book day. But before we look at new issues, I want to let you know about something very cool. We have a brand new uh, giveaway that started this morning. And it's pretty wonderful. It is a Wonder Woman movie. John's shaking his head at that terrible pun. It is a Wonder Woman movie Funko Pop of Wonder Woman herself, signed by the actress Gal Gadot. So... That contest started this morning. Uh, just go to blog.midtowncomics.com to enter. Uh, there's one simple rule. You got to be in the New York City area within like, like driving distance, let's say, you know, half hour or so, because you'll have to pick it up from the store. For an item this awesome, we do not want to ship it and potentially risk having it damaged or anything like that. So if you enter, just keep in mind, you got to pick it up in store. And we will announce the winner on Wonder Woman Day. We will announce it via email to the winner. We'll just email them directly, but we'll also have Facebook Live coverage of, of our Wonder Woman celebration, and that'll be on June 3rd. All right, enough babbling. Let's get to new comics. Up first is Dark Horse. We have a new issue of Angel, the fifth issue, and we also have a brand new chapter of Black Hammer, one of the most critically acclaimed comics there are right now. This is issue nine. Jeff Lemire's been writing. Looks like David Rubin is on art for this issue. We also have Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Conan the Slayer. It's a good day for Slayers. Uh, there's also Department H and a brand new Mass Effect comic called Mass Effect Discovery. There's also Rebels and the Shaolin Cowboy. And then we get over to DC Comics. They have uh, a good amount of new releases today. Not going overboard, but some good stuff in here. We have uh, Son of the Penguin continues in Batgirl in issue 11. We also have Batman Beyond. So if you also grew up loving that animated show, get your dose of Terry McGinnis in there, issue 8. Batman Detective Comics. This one features Spoiler, as the cover shows. Uh, and it's called The Wrath of Spoiler because it features Wrath. A lot of people think, uh, you know, Bane or Joker's the anti-Batman. Wrath is the anti-Batman. That dude has not have a, had a lot of appearances, but he is incredibly dangerous. There's also Batman in the Shadow. DC has joined forces with Dynamite to allow Batman and the Shadow to join forces. This is the second issue of this crossover. Uh, it's co-written by Scott Snyder and Steve Orlando, and it has artwork by Riley Rossmo. Uh, so there are two cool covers here. And then we also have another team up with Batman 66 and Wonder Woman 77. You have an old school live action crossover there. Blue Beetle's still going on, number nine. Got two covers there. He's one of my favorite characters in Injustice 2. And also the comic's entertaining. There's that as well. <laughs> and then the Lazarus Contract. We're now in the third chapter. Uh, I don't want to give away the latest twist that happened, but uh, this one obviously revolves around Deathstroke. Um, he's been a big character in this comic, but now this chapter's all about him. And this has been a, um, a crossover event that is taking place in Teen Titans, Titans, and Deathstroke. Definitely check it out if you like the, any of the characters involved, but mostly Deathstroke. It's also a new chapter of Hell Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, issue 21. And we also have Hellblazer, number 10, Injustice, Ground Zero, number 12, Justice League of America, number 7, and the Commandy Challenge continues. There's a new cliffhanger for a new creative team to address while leaving the uh, next creative team with a brand new cliffhanger. So it's been fun. Uh, this is the fifth chapter. And then we also have uh, from DC's Young Animal, a new issue of Mother Panic. I don't know if he's around, but I know this was one of his recommendations today. We also have a new chapter of Suicide Squad. They attempted to put Zod on the team. Obviously, that's not a good idea. The cover gives that away. I mean, do you really think you can control General Zod? I don't think so. And then we also have a new Wonder Woman with this beautiful cover. And also a Liam Sharp cover. Before we move forward to uh, some Aftershock and Archie comics, let's take a look at new collections from Dark Horse and DC. We have Gru, Abandon, and a Conan Omnibus, all from Dark Horse. And we also have the DC Universe by Mike Mignola, he is, of course, known for his work on Hellboy. And then we also have a Batman New Gotham collection, as well as Batman Wildcat. I'm probably going to pick this up because, unfortunately, I've never read all the, uh, the two limited series with Batman and Wildcat, as well as some of their other encounters. So I'm very curious about that. We also have a hardcover of JLA Year One, the Deluxe Edition, as well as the Golden Age of Superman Omnibus Volume 4. 
go down here, we have all new double sized issue of the Archies. But before we get to that, it looks like I glossed over Aftershock, the normals, number one. Now we have a one shot, the Archies, Friend of the Sword, Matt Roseberg is involved in that. There's also Destroyer from Boom Studios. That's a brand new limited series. This is the first issue. There's also The Power of the Dark Crystal, uh, Jim Henson's. This is the third chapter. Now we also have a trade paperback of James Bond. Uh, Dynamite's been having a lot of fun with that character. Then we get over to Valiant. There's a new collection of Archer and Armstrong and two brand new issues, uh, Ninjak and Shadow Man Rapture, as well as Exo Manowar number three. Let me give you a look at one of the other covers here. All right. Then we get to um, a title that I love to support, Ghostbusters 101, number three. This is a team-up between the classic and the new team. It's written by Eric Burnham, artwork by Dan Schoening and Louis Delgado. Let me give you a quick preview. I grew up loving the original movies, and this is a series that is for people who, you know, love the classic movies. Uh, maybe they grew up with the animated series. No matter which incarnation of the team you enjoy, you should be reading this and all the other Ghostbusters work that IDW Publishing has put out. If you've always wanted a third Ghostbusters movie from the originals, I strongly recommend reading Mass Hysteria. Those are uh, collected in big editions now, or you can get a, a couple smaller collections. Either way, if you like the movies, you have to read Mass Hysteria, and hopefully you'll give Ghostbusters 101 a shot as well. I definitely think it's worth supporting. And also from IDW, we have G.I. Joe, a real American hero. Highlander, The American Dream, Saucer State, number one, and also Star Trek Boldly Go, number eight, as well as TMNT Universe, number 10. Been especially loving what uh, IDW Publishing has been doing with the heroes in Half Shell for quite some time now. Then we also have Optimus Prime, number seven, Weird Love, number 18. And uh, now we get into Image Comics with Beauty 15. <laughs> kind of spawn variant for deadly class as well as the regular cover well primary cover for issue 28 i know they've been doing spawn variants that's my first time seeing that uh there's also the dying and the dead number four for all the hickman fans out there also east and west back-to-back -back hickman going on right here and then uh we also have some collections above as well as a new release from top cow we just talked about a new issue from the dying and the dead and now trade is out as well it's also a uh, hellblazer books of magic and two superman collections well one's actually a novel so there you go and then uh yeah i guess while we're up here let's look at the rest of the new uh collections from image the dying of the dead mayday moonshine uh, no Mercy, and then one that I want to give a little extra love to is Violent Love. Friends of the store, Frank Barbieri and Victor Santos. Let me give you a quick preview of this. John, do we still have signed copies of Violent Love number one available online? Possibly. I think so. Possibly. Okay. We had a... Uh, Frank and Victor in the store a while ago to celebrate the first issue of this series. They signed a lot of extra stock, so it's possible if you go online, check out Violent Love number one, you check out uh, you know all the tabs available. One of the options may be a copy signed by both creators. So that's and it's at cover price too. When we have signings, we do not raise the price of the comic. It remains the same. We want to make sure uh, if you're not local, you can still enjoy our signings by getting one of the comics at cover price. We also have the Old Guard issue four. Uh, that's, I'm sure this will pique some people's uh, interest if I say it's written by Greg Rucka. So there you go. There's also Plastic issue two, and issue one is, re uh, this is a second printing actually. It's also Rat Queens, issue three is now out as well as Redneck. We have a second printing of the first issue. And issue number two is out now. Now, John, Redneck was, has been doing really well online, right? Yes, it has. Yeah. All right, then we also have Ringside, issue 10, Samaritan Veritas, number one from Image. We also have Savage Dragon 224, as well as three covers for seven 
to Eternity, number six. That's written by Rick Remender and uh, also has work by Jerome Opeña. And we also have Sun Bakery, number three. Underwinter from Ray Fox, issue three. And now we move into new releases from Marvel Comics. We have a brand new chapter of Black Panther, issue 14. Let me give you a look at both those covers. Very cool. Then we also have Steve Rogers, Captain America. This, of course, is a secret empire tie-in, issue number 17. It's also the mighty Captain Marvel. Let's not forget how mighty she is. She is incredibly powerful, people. Uh, this is issue number five. And there's also Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme, number eight. And before we get to Elektra, let's take a look at uh, some of the new collections. Got a good variety up here, actually. We have a new Deadpool, new Doctor Strange, Uncanny and Humans, Moon Knight. And then we uh, get two classics, Silver Surfer, Epic Collection, and a recollection of some of the older Spider-Man material, plus the Unworthy Thor. Good variety up there. Um, the first thing I'd grab right away, Moon Knight. Uh, Jeff Lemire, Greg Smallwood, they, they did a lot of fun work with that character, really focusing on uh, the mental aspect of the character. And now, back down here, we have Elektra. Uh, the big twist here is she went away to Las Vegas, but it turns out Arcade is there as well. So if Arcade knows Elektra's in town, he's obviously going to test her. Uh, we're on the fourth issue of that now. And also the second issue of the all-new Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm ashamed to say I have not read this yet. It's especially embarrassing because I love Jerry Duggan's work. Uh, but I've been hearing amazing things. And the thing that I mo hear most commonly is if you like the movie, you need to read all-new Guardians of the Galaxy. It has a very similar tone from what I hear. And then we also have uh, Jim Starlin and Alan Davis going cosmic with Guardians of the Galaxy. Mother Entropy, number four. And then, uh, speaking of Cosmic, I Am Groot, number one, with Baby Groot now in his own series. Let me give you a look. How can I not? It's Baby Groot. <laughs> it's cute. Down here. Not sure if you can see it. John, what do you think of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol 2? Loved it. Absolutely loved it. It was like a combo come to life, and it was a very good, uh, very good sequel to the first film. So I'm going to challenge people out there. We have All New Guardians of the Galaxy number two, and I am Groot number one. Read these back to back, but in the background have the soundtrack for Guardians of the Galaxy Vol Two playing. See if that enhances the experience. Oh, I'm absolutely. <laughs> All right. Oh. And then actually, we can add a third comic to that recommendation. Star-Lord Annual, number one, written by the always hilarious Chip Zdarsky. I'm not gonna preview this. I don't want to give away anything from an annual. And we also have totally awesome uh, Hulk featuring uh, two characters from Greg Fox X-Force uh, series. Now this is a prelude for Weapons of Mutant Destruction. There's also infamous Iron Man, number eight, with a great cover there. Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, number 19. This is the start of a brand new story arc. Girl Moon. So check that out. It's also Mosaic, number 8. And we had a signing recently to celebrate Secret Warriors, number 1, with uh, the very talented Matthew Rosenberg. Signed copies are now available in-store as well as online. And friendly reminder, it's cover price. So definitely check that out. And once you've uh, finished reading that and fall in love with it, check out Secret Warriors, number 2, with a very cool Tradmore cover. And we'll talk about Tradmore in just a moment. We also have Ben Riley, The Scarlet Spider, number two. Uh, I'm not sure if signed copies from Peter David of the first issue are still available online. They may not be, but you can check. If they are, cool. Have fun. And then Venom 150. We also have an adorable Scotty Young cover there. We are going to have a signing tomorrow, which is Thursday at Midtown Comics downtown which is located at 64 fulton street get there before six o'clock because that's when the signing with trad moore is going to begin he does some of the interiors for this mega issue uh in case you're wondering why venom 150 is such a big deal eddie brock is venom again going full 90s up in marvel it's going to be a lot of fun trad moore is a, an incredible uh energetic artist i'm really looking forward to the signing and let's give you a preview of this issue so if you do want to go to tomorrow night's signing, which once again is at Midtown Comics Downtown and begins at 6 o'clock, you can get up to three comics signed. 
Venom 150 does technically not have to be one of the comics, but it is kind of the, you know, the nice thing to do. I mean, he's there to celebrate Venom 150. Purchase of the comic is mandatory, though, so make sure either you buy at Midtown Comics beforehand or when you get there, before getting in line, just hop in the store and pick up the issue. And this is Tradmore's uh, pencils, I believe. Uh, uh, Felipe uh, Sobrero does the colors. Let's take a look at this. All right, we've now gone two pages beyond what Marvel's official preview has shown, and I don't want to give away too much. So let's end it right there. Once again, Tradmore, Midtown Comics downtown, tomorrow starting at 6. Show up early, have a good time. And now Marvel also has two reprints going on, or uh, second printings, excuse me. Yeah. One, yeah, of course. So, fun fact, Chad Moore did the cover for Matthew Rosenberg's Secret Warriors number one, and Venom 150 brings it back to the legacy numbering for Marvel. So if you're going to come tomorrow, you can. this should be two of the three pieces you're going to get signed. Because he did the interiors for Venom and did the cover for this. So you can pick that up, already signed by the writer, and then have it signed by the cover artist. At least that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> make the third one Luther Strode. Definitely make the third one Luther Strode. Marvel also has two second printings here. A new story arc and all new Wolverine, which uh, if you like Logan, this is X-23 taking up the mantle of Wolverine, written by Tom Taylor, uh, artwork by Leonard Kirk. And we also have Weapon X, number one reprinted. Jean Grey, number two. X-Men Blue, number four. Don't spoil the twists. And we have V over here. V, let's talk about Marvel, man, because I know you, <laughs> how's it going? You kind of like Marvel. So how's it going? A little bit, a little bit. So how's it going? Pretty good. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff to read from Marvel today. I definitely went for the trades, though, uh, being Unworthy Thor and Moon Knight by Jeff Lemire and Unworthy Thor by Jason Aaron. My God, great stories, both of them. Completely different uh, from each from one another, but incredible. Uh Moon Knight probably has to be my favorite Marvel book of the year so far. What Jeff Lemire is doing with that book is is fantastic. Uh, you never really know what's going on. One, one minute you're so sure that, yeah, oh, my God, like this is totally a setup. Then the next minute you're like, is he just crazy? I don't know. But it's definitely a good time. And uh, I heard you guys giving uh, Chad Moore some love. Mm -hmm. uh, big Chad Moore fan. Uh, I know he did the cover art for uh, the uh, last Robbie Reyes run, uh, all new Ghost Rider. He also co-created the character, right? Yeah, but there's definitely a signing going on tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. So you guys should definitely check. Will you out. be there? Perhaps I will. There's a there's a mystery, but uh, yeah, a lot of good stuff from Marvel. Uh, I haven't read Venom yet, but I'm hearing good things so far. Uh, what else do we have out today? Hmm, Star Lord Annual. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow! Didn't realize that was out yet. But I'll definitely be checking that out because Chip Zdarsky is one of my favorite guys working today. Never thought I'd see Shocker in that comic. That was an unexpected team up. Did you just spoil that for me? What, what, what is this? I'm it happened like a few issues ago, man. Hey, man, I'm kidding. <laughs> but I don't take jokes. <laughs> no sense of humor. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely uh, Mother Panic also. That's, uh, that's one of my favorite uh, books going on right now. I really, uh, J Jody uh, Hauser is, is the writer's name. What she's doing with that character is also fantastic. Uh, it very much takes place in the current DC universe, um, but it's uh, it's a spin on it. it. You know, she essentially feels like she could do a better job than Batman, and that's always Damian Wayne feels the same way. <laughs> but this is much darker than anything that da uh, Damian Wayne has done. Uh, but yeah, it's a really fun spin on Gotham City, on the Bat mythology overall, what it means to be a, a real hero and you guys should definitely check it out. Anything else you'd like to say to all the people watching on Facebook Live right now? Give all these books a chance, a whole bunch of different flavors for a whole bunch of different people. Uh, you know, come down to the store, you know, we'll have some conversations about it, civilized conversations about it, because it's all subjective, and... Uh, You're wrong. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, my <laughs> opinion clearly doesn't matter. You know, everything that he says, though, listen to this guy, because, you know, what do I know? I just work here. <laughs> V, thank you very much, man. Always a pleasure. Thank you, G Reg the Cat Man, Don Juan. <laughs> <laughs> Don Juan's the man behind the camera. Uh, like V said, comics, there's something for everybody. If you like the superhero stuff, come down, plenty of options. But if you don't want to see people in capes punching bad guys or punching each other, there are tons of options to choose from. You could check out uh, anything from Image, uh, IDW, Archie, Valiant. There's so much uh, Dark Horse comics. If you like the Alien Covenant, 
I think next week is Alien Dead Orbit number two. So there's a lot of cool stuff to choose from. We hope you enjoyed this latest edition of New Comic Book Day. Enjoy reading those comics and be good to each other. See you next time. <laughs>